Okay, taking a deep breath, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio has quite a reputation as being a very intense sign. And based on the Scorpio people that I've met, I think that that's pretty accurate. Scorpio is a fixed water sign, and it's ruled by both Mars, planet of war, as well as Pluto, planet of death and destruction. Now, both of those planets are not trips to the beach, so it's no wonder that Scorpio gets that reputation of intensity. One thing I really admire about Scorpio is their fearlessness. I think this comes from having Mars as a co-ruler because like Aries being ruled by Mars, they're both signs that seem to be very confident in their ability to fight the battles of life. You know, you think about a soldier going off to war, poised for battle. And I think it's that kind of energy. I also admire the fact that Scorpio tells it like it is. As a Sagittarian, I can appreciate that. I never have to wonder where they stand about an issue. Unless, of course, they don't say anything at all. And that is possible because Scorpios are very private people. But when they tell you something, you can rest assured that it's what they actually believe. Unlike Libra, who tends to be a schmooze artist because they crave approval, Scorpios don't care whether you like them or not. They're not here for you. They're here for themselves. And they want to be able to say how they feel, and they do. Another thing I like about Scorpio is that they have a very passionate nature. They're not superficial. They're not on the surface. You know, they get very um, emotionally connected to something. And if it happens to be a person, then they'll have your back for life. You know, they're very loyal. On the flip side, speaking specifically of that quality, one of the shadow aspects of Scorpio is a tendency to be a little bit, you know, extreme. Either they really love something or someone or really hate it. They don't tend to have a lot of middle ground in life. And so when it comes to people, they might not accept somebody if they don't really like them. They can be very selective, very subjective. And so they might tend to judge people based on some idiosyncratic values or attributes that they uphold. And if you don't meet the cut, then forget about it. The other thing that is related to that is an obsessive nature. And I think this is also part of their reputation of being very vindictive when they are rejected or if somebody does them wrong somehow. And this is obviously not going to be true of all Scorpio types of people, but it can be the shadow manifestation and it can be very scary. Um, you know, seeking revenge is something that enlightened Scorpios realize is not the way to go, but the ones that are vengeful can make fierce enemies being a fixed sign and being a water sign, they can hold on to that emotional energy for very long periods of time. And this, you know, can lead to a lack of forgiveness in their nature. As I said with their complementary sign, Taurus, being fixed signs, they tend to hold grudges. And again, they always hurt themselves more than they hurt somebody else. 
you have to be willing to forgive because forgiveness is realizing that other people, you know, have weaknesses and that you have weaknesses. And when you can see your weaknesses and somebody else's mistakes, then you have a more generous heart. And when Scorpio isn't manifesting its positive qualities appropriately, they can kind of close in and hold on to hurts way too long and not um, kind of transcend them. So I hope that everyone liked this and please let me know how you feel. Take care guys. Bye.